Chris, how much further is whatever it is we're going to? Not far. Some of us do have to go to school this morning, you know. Relax, it's on the way. Guys, check it out. Dark City. I knew it. We've been kidnapped by aliens. <laughs> Oi, you told us I. Why would I be cold? I'm the one wearing the coat. You got a big mouth, pal. Yeah, a lot of people tell me that. I reckon we should find out if you can swim in that coat. Oh well, if that's what you have to do to validate your own existence, go for it. It's not your fault you've got a testosterone imbalance. I think you lost that one, Will. <laughs> Hands up who thinks Will lost that one. <laughs> Yes, Ms. Ackroyd. This might be your first day here, but I'm sure you've read the appropriate paragraph concerning uniform regulations in the school handbook. That coat is not acceptable. Put it away in your locker and I don't want to see it at school again. Yevol. I beg your pardon. Yevol, Miss Ackroyd. I think you and I had better have a long chat after school, Mr. Dunglass. Yes, Ms. Ackroyd. Man, I reckon you're looking at a week's detention here. You think so? I suppose she does have a certain overly developed sense of the need to take an authoritarian approach, doesn't she? Yeah. You are seriously weird. I try my best. I sprung to the stirrup, and Joris and he, I galloped, Dirk galloped, we galloped all three. You can see how Browning uses the word gallop to convey the rhythm of the horse by repeating it again and again. Gallop itself is an example of... Onomatopoeia. Yes, yes, thank you. Um, you, uh, you can, of course, um, create the uh, same sense of movement through alliteration. Can anyone give me an example from their own reading? The Rhyme of the Ancient Mariner. Any particular passage? Um, the fair breeze blew, the white foam flew, the furrow followed free. We were the first that ever burst into that silent sea. Yes, that's an excellent example. But it's a bit hackneyed, though, isn't it? I prefer Gerard Manley Hopkins. I caught this morning, morning's minion. Kingdom of Daylight's Dauphin. Dappled dawn drawn falcon in his riding. Of the rolling level underneath him, steady air and striding. Excuse me, um, who are you? Edward Dunglass. Sorry? He's new. <laughs> Thank you, Will. I managed that much for myself. Did you say Dunglass? That's right. Well, if your name's anything to go by, you should be a great asset to this class. Thank you, sir. And if oh, you Edward. Don't... Oh, um, um, hi, Mr. Fisher. Hi. Um, you may have noticed that uh, I reacted rather strangely when I heard your name in class. It's just that, um, well, back in the 70s, there was a professor of English at Sydney Uni, also called Edward Dunglass. Dunglass, yeah, a lot of people talk to me about him. Ah, oh, right. Some say I look like him. I, mm. I wouldn't know. I've never met him. It's, mm. it's one of those synchronicity things, I guess. When people come to suit their names. Nice. Only, um, I was at primary school with a kid called John Wayne, and, well, well, he was nothing like John Wayne, but then John Wayne is really Marion Morrison, isn't he? So maybe that's why. Yeah, yes, that's, uh, that, that, that's a very interesting theory, yeah. <clears throat> Uh, I'm going to shoot some hoops. Do you want to come? Um, basketball's not really my thing, but yeah, maybe I'll come down later. Cool. Yeah. I'll see you. Now just take it slow and easy, all right? Yeah, and be careful on that bend near the toilet block. It's really sharp. OK, OK. Well, if we're going to let every kid that comes along have a go, we may as well start charging, make some money out of it. No, Edward's cool. You sure, whatever. Yeah, I saw the way he handled the guys that were hustling it. Yeah, I was there. Oi, take it easy, take it easy! Guys, 
a maniac. He's gonna crash it. Slow down! That was out of this world. Now get out of the car now. Yes, Edward. Get out this instant. Oh, hello, Mother. I was wondering when you'd turn up. 